today on Logan Lee Adventures. It's all about what I love about Hong Kong, the nightlife, the food, the friendships, all smashed together into an orgy of a night before I fly out tomorrow to my next country. Buckle your seatbelts because you're in for a ride. Hey guys, so I'm with Andy here. What's up, man? He's been hosting me all week in Hong Kong, even though he hasn't been in Hong Kong. But finally, he's here. Yeah, so finally made yeah. it back. Uh, we're, we're, oh, we're ordering. Yeah, we're, so we're ordering food now. Yeah. So Andy's actually gonna order right now um, the good stuff. So we're having like a little pre appetizers uh, before we head over to our main meal. And, oh, oh. <laughs> so me and Andy we met uh, back in Cape Town over a year ago. Finally, like. We're able to meet up and now actually hang out in Hong Kong. Exactly. So one night. One night. One <laughs> yeah. night. Twenty-four hours yeah. in Hong Kong. So we're gonna show you what's that like right now. <laughs> this is rice ball with sugar, coconut, sesame, and then this is sago with coconut. So either way, it's gonna be good. from Bali too, so that's quite impressive. <laughs> okay, now we're heading over to dinner after a little free drink and appetizers. <laughs> Let's go. Tuesday night, Hong Kong. Oh, every word hurts. Every word hurts so you can much. You hear how like his voice is just. I don't normally sound like this. I don't. I don't normally sound like I'm dying. I... But that, uh, that's how you know. That's how I know. Because I never. had a good weekend. It's like an 80 year old, an 80 year old old man with throat, throat cancer. It doesn't help adding like just chugging that beer down. No, but no, no. But now we're good for getting some roast beef. So. Got some last day in Hong Kong, Hong Kong. It's like such an epic city. I can't believe you guys are like based here, but you guys are like literally living here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next trip to Hong Kong. So you guys better be here still. And my place, always. Yeah. I want to live in your place. <laughs> I don't even have, I don't have to be sitting in Hong Kong to live in your place. I think I'm doing Hong Kong New Year's. I feel like New Year's would be so sad. It's the best. It's the best. But this past New Year's Eve, I did lose. I woke up on an NTR on a train at, at like 6 in the morning. I, I don't remember anything from like after the fireworks to 6, but I woke up on a train at 6 and I had no phone, no wallet, Wait, and nothing. How do you get out of the NTR if you don't have your office? So, you know like in the airport, they have like, there's like internet, like, like computer. Stations. <laughs> there was one in the train station in the nearest place. I got to that station, went on that like fucking Windows 97 bullshit computer, went on Facebook, and messaged my brother, being like, yo, dude, where you at? And he's like, bro, like, I'm with your friends, where are you? He's like, dude, that's so um, I lost everything. That's so <laughs> and, and he, thank God, my brother is a godsend. He's a genius. He's a watch this. He said, yo, like, Andy, don't worry. I don't know what's I'm almost home. Like, I'll just come down and, and like pay for the taxi. We love you, Chris. Love you, Chris. <laughs> and I did. It's the best. And New Year's Day. New Year's Day. I had nothing. My net, my net worth, my net worth was zero. <laughs> on New Year's Day, my brother, Harry, we went on a boat. Anyway, 
maybe? Maybe, 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 I don't know about you, but whenever my friends and I go out, we eat. Actually, going out is eating. In between the drinks, food is part of our nightlife in itself. It goes from bar, restaurant, speakeasy, food, then some drunk food, and then holy fook. Yes, that's a restaurant name that you've heard it right, and the dishes are life here. Our first dish, fried Brussels sprouts with cauliflower and bacon chili jam. What? Who puts all these together? Yet it tastes like heaven dancing on your tongue. Holy Fook is a funky Chinese kitchen inspired by an old school Hong Kong cha chan tang and the spirit of late night Chinatown hangouts in the 1960s New York. And quintessential Hong Kong itself is roast goose. Plumpy, juicy, and tender meat with crispy skin, this goose served with plum sauce is unbeatable and so good that my spirit and soul is currently transcending to the next plane right now. It is quite possible to get an overview of Hong Kong's history and culture by eating your way through this metropolis, and that's my style of traveling. Steaming hot and sticky lamb dan dan noodles. Of course, a multiple course dinner needs carbs, and this dish does us good. Here, here. Now, this is a dish that we have just had to have: roasted wagyu short ribs with jalapeno puree. That's the green splash of splendor right there. Green shallot kimchi and soy glaze. Have you ever seen something so magnificent? We died. Like most of, like most Asian households' way of eating, there is none of this one dish yourself like it is in the West. Here, everything is shared amongst each other between multiple dishes, multiple courses, so your taste buds can hit all of the sweet, salty, spicy, sour, and umami. This is one way to satisfy our cravings. Amongst our friends, even though we all grew up in the West, with Andy having gone to boarding school in England, Steph in Australia, and me in Toronto, our dysphoria and Pan Asian American identity connects us through food and beyond our multiple cultures. And it brings us here to Hong Kong, Asia's world city, a suiting and befitting nickname. Another awesome part of our dinner is our waiter came over with a complimentary bottle of soju. He poured us all shots and himself one, and took it with us. Here's a we're all the same. Come Well, what's your fortune? What does it say? You'll be taking a long trip. Yo! Just a short trip. So. Nobody is cheating, so we knew it was. Sorry. <laughs> Mine is. You'll be. No, it's the same thing. No. <laughs> For those like us who loves a good mystery, need more than just spark, and seek out of the ordinary experiences, Hong Kong's nightlife gives us that perfect something out of the ordinary nightlife. Lurking down alleyways, behind thick curtains, or up spiral staircases are Hong Kong's speakeasies and hidden bars. The Iron Fairies, inspired by Ashley Sutton's experiences in iron ore mines in Western Australia, the underground hidden bar resembles a blacksmith workshop with principal design elements including iron, timber, brick, and leather. Metal making tools line the walls, vials of fairy dust hang from the ceilings and clusters, and most incredible of all, some 10,000 preserved dead. Butterflies, really dead, dangle overhead, suspended on tiny metal rods. With creative cocktails, we also ordered some drunk food, succulent and rich bone marrow. Mmm. Oh, yeah. oh yes, you guys dancing. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Ready for another secret bar? A speakeasy? Okay, let's go. Mysteriously located somewhere off Hollywood Road and down a hidden alley, this signless bar is a baby of famed bartender Joseph Borowski and guarantees only the best when it comes to cocktails. 
dimly lit, almost cave-like space with a dark and moody atmosphere, my kind of place. Also, the curved ceilings are adorned in hundreds of real shiny beetles. I guess Hong Kong has a thing for dead insects. <laughs> so, we're leaving bar hopping all night on a Tuesday night for my last night in Hong Kong. It's fucking epic. <laughs> I love them! It's a Tuesday. <laughs> so that's the end of our journey this for now. It's been a great Everything from Indonesia to days. Hong Kong. Yeah. Ten days. It's been an amazing ten days. It's been days. really epic. I'm so glad so, I came to Hong Kong. So let's see the next time that we hang out with each other. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, you are going to Boston. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's only like, a stone throw away from the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheap lunch. Just yeah. really small. Okay. Small stone throw. Stone throw. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm heading back home with Andy. Last night in Hong Kong, we made the most of tonight. That is definitely such a great Fucking night. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday night. Tuesday. So if you haven't been to Hong Kong yet, you have to come. Definitely. Hit these guys up. Yes. And if you have been in Hong Kong, then you should still hit these guys up. Oh. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Night. Peace out. Peace.